Abortion rights took center stage today at the Supreme Court as it heard a case that could have far-reaching implications. Now, this is the first major abortion case since the addition of two Trump-appointed justices to the nation's highest court. And with tensions so high today, Jan Crawford reports on what made Chief Justice John Roberts issue a rare rebuke to the Senate's top Democrat. For both sides, the case, which started with a lawsuit by this Louisiana abortion clinic, could signal the future of abortion rights. Kathleen Pittman is the clinic administrator, challenging a Louisiana law that requires abortion doctors to have admitting privileges at a local hospital in case something goes wrong during the procedure. It's totally possible that we would have to close. But abortion opponents say these laws are necessary to protect women's health. What other procedure do we know that's done at an outpatient facility that doesn't have admitting privileges? Liberal justices said abortion is different because it's generally safe. That's the position they took in 2016 when, joined by Justice Anthony Kennedy, the court struck down an almost identical Texas law. But in 2018, Justice Brett Kavanaugh replaced Kennedy, joining on the court President Trump's other nominee, Neil Gorsuch. On the steps of the court today, Senator Chuck Schumer leveled a warning to them both. You have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. That prompted a rare rebuke from Chief Justice John Roberts, who called the comments threatening, inappropriate, and dangerous. Now, this is not the Chief Justice's first rebuke after President Trump complained about a so-called, quote, Obama judge who had ruled against him. Roberts answered back then with a strong defense of an independent judiciary. Nora. All right, Jan, thank you.